टुडे अवर टॉपिक इज रिलेटिव लोयरिंग ऑफ वेपर प्रेशर रिलेटिव लोयरिंग ऑफ वेपर प्रेशर इट इज वन ऑफ द इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक सो बिफोर गोइंग टू द रिलेटिव लोयरिंग ऑफ द वेपर प्रेशर वी हैव वी वॉन्ट टू नो द वट इज मीन बाई वेपर प्रेशर वट इज मीन बाई लोयरिंग ऑफ वेपर प्रेशर वट इज मे रिलेटिव लोयरिंग ऑफ वेपर प्रेशर वी हैव टू नो सो वट इज मीन बाई वेपर प्रेशर सो वेपर प्रेशर इज नथिंग बट द द नेम इट्स सेल्फ ओनली इज इंडिकेटिंग the pressure excited by the vapor the pressure excited by the vapor when it is equilibrium with the liquid state so generally liquid you are boiling whenever your liquid is you are boiling so it's converted into vapor states initially it will not complete complete liquid whatever how much liquid you are taking it will not completely converted into vapor state so start boiling so some of the molecule will converted into the vapor state some of the molecule will converted into the vapor state so whatever the some of the molecule is converted into the vapor states they are exerting the some pressure they will exert the some pressure they will exert the some pressure they will exert so they will whenever they are exerting the pressure by the vapors in the equilibrium with the liquid state whenever they are having the equilibrium with the liquid state whenever they are having the equilibrium with the liquid state that is called as a vapor pressure we are calling it as a vapor pressure vapor pressure is nothing but the, the pressure exerted by the vapor molecule whenever it is equilibrium with the liquid state that is called as a lowering of vapor so that is called as a vapor pressure so what is mean by lowering of vapor pressure what is mean by lowering of vapor pressure lowering of vapor pressure in the sense vapor pressure is decreasing lowering of vapor pressure vapor pressure is decreasing vapor pressure is decreasing in the sense what initially it is having some value but it is decreasing to the some other values why what happen in between for generally we know that solvent take a solvent any solvent for example solvent uh, solvent a i am considering as a solvent a i am considering so solvent it is having the in its pure state pure state in the sense without any mixing uh, that means without solute without in with, with, not in the solution original form pure solvent it is alone state that is consider i am it as a p not i am considering it as a p not i am considering it as a p not i am considering p not so i am solvent i am taking the p i am taking so solvent in a solution what will happen solution it will solutions in the sense what solute plus solvent particles will be there solute plus solvent particle will be there so solvent solvent in the pure state this is called vapor state so solvent in solution solvent in solution it will become the pa it will become this means it's decreasing why it is decreasing see some examples you can take take a beaker take a some solvent molecule take only solvent molecules so only solvent molecule is there so start boiling whenever you are start boiling it will easily evaporated only solve one type of the molecule only will be there only solvent molecule will be there so pure form it is called as a p not a vapor pressure of the pure solvent so here what will i am i am adding the some solute solute is called as a b i am adding the some solute i am adding so whatever whenever i am adding the solute particles the solute particle occupy the spaces of the solvent molecule it will occupy the spaces molecule automatically what will happen the solute molecule is bind with the solvent molecule will bind whenever it is start binding what will happen the density will be increases the density will be increases in the sense what vapor pressure will be vapor vapor uh, the rate of the evaporation will be decreases the rate of evaporation is decreases in the sense vapor pressure will be decreases so after the that's why lowering solvent will become fall the vapor pressure is fall into pa so rate of evaporation whatever is there rate of evaporation rate of evaporation is indirectly proportional to the root of the density if density is more rate of evaporation will be less rate of evaporation will be less the pressure exerted by the vapor pressure will be less will be there so what is mean by 
lowering of vapor pressure lowering of vapor pressure is different relative to lowering of vapor pressure is different lowering of vapor pressure so before it is a pure state uh, it is a pure solvent it is a having the p not a but in a uh, vapor pressure of the solvent in solution it is decreasing i want to know how much is decreasing so that means that's why call it difference we want to calculate difference of the vapor pressure of the pure solvent we have to calculate that is equal to the that is equal to the vapor pressure of the pure solvent pure solvent subtract from the vapor pressure of the solvent in a solution vapor pressure of the solvent in a solution so if you do automatically you will you will know the lowering of vapor pressure you will know the lowering of vapor pressure so what is mean by relative lowering of the vapor pressure relative lowering relative in the sense what we are doing the comparison we are doing relative we are doing the comparison comparison how can you do the comparison the ratio of the the ratio of the lowering of the vapor pressure the ratio of the lowering of the vapor pressure to the 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 ratio of the lowering the ratio of the lowering of the vapor pressure to the pure solvent pure solvent only we are calculating a pure solvent i am we are calculating so this is about the relative lowering of the vapor pressure this is about the relative lowering of the vapor pressure now we have to derive the relationship between the uh, we have to derive the uh, relations uh, between the okay for uh, to calculate the numericals we have to and derive the relationship so this you converted in the rolls uh, so already what we may delta p already we know delta p is nothing but the p0 by p by p not a that's you can write like this so same like rolls law this is only rolls law is explained so rolls law is said that whenever the rolls law as per the rolls law we can said the mole fraction of the solvent the mole fraction of the solvent the mole fraction of the mole fraction of the the mole fraction of the solvent is equal to the vapor pressure of the pure solvent ratio is equal to ratio of the vapor pressure of the pure solvent by the vapor pressure of the solvent in a solutions this you have to remember only this step you have to remember everything will go mole fraction of a solvent is equal to mole fraction of a solvent is equal to the vapor pressure of the pure vapor pressure vapor pressure of the solvent in a solution to the vapor pressure of the pure solvent that you have to remember that already we know that in a solution two solute plus solvent will be there if you take the mole fraction xa plus xb is equal to the 1 so xb is equal to the 1 minus xa 1 minus xa so here here x a is there here x a is there but here 1 minus x a is there here 1 minus x a is not there so that time what we have to do so total equation this equation is there na total equation subtracted from the 1 minus you can subtract so our, whenever you subtract from the 1 minus you will get 1 minus p a by p a not is equal 1 minus x a 1 minus x a is nothing but what 1 minus x a is nothing but the x b so now you can write here p a not by p a not by p a is equal 1 minus x a is equal x b in a dilute solution this is this is we will get but what will happen in a dilute solutions we will always uh, neglect the, the solute particles we will neglect the number of the solute particle we will neglect the solute particles so now you can write like this also from the equation so delta p by p a not is equal 1 minus x a is equal to x b so nothing but delta p by p a not is equal to x b x b is nothing but what mole fraction mole fraction in the sense small n by small n in the sense capital n so we are talking about the dilute solution dilute solution in the sense uh, we are talking uh, dilute solution dilute in the sense uh, small n we can be neglected so now you can write small n is equal capital n small n is nothing but the number of moles of the solute capital n is nothing but the number of moles of the solvent so number of moles of the solute number of moles of the solvent now you can uh, so 
so x b is equal n by n because we are neglecting the small n we are neglecting because it is a dilute solution so already n is nothing but the weight by the gram molecular weight small n is nothing but the solute capital n is nothing but the solvent number of moles of the solute so how can you write n is equal weight by the gram molecular weight of the solute so i am considering it as a i am considering it as a n yes so n weight by gram molecular weight the weight by the gram molecular weight by weight by the gram molecular weight this is for the n by this is also we can we have to write now this i am writing capital m by capital w by capital m so this is for the down part is now for the solvent upper part is for the solute so now you can write can write so this is for the solvent this is weight of the, the nothing but the product of the weight of the solute to the molecular weight of the solvent product of the molecular weight of the solute to the weight of the solute particles so this is you can so by the by the definition you can get like nothing but p 0 minus p by p naught you can get this equation this equation is useful to